I'm Cody Askins and I'm going to share with you today how to earn $10,000 weekly as a life insurance agent. Okay, So one of the things I want you to think through is typically a lot of insurance agents fail. 92% fail. We're going to walk through the numbers. I'm talking appointment. I'm talking leads, appointments, sits, etc. Okay, Now, what happens typically is an agent doesn't have a goal. They don't know what to do. They don't know where they're going to go. They don't know the numbers. right? But if this is a goal that you want to hit every single week is 100% possible when you actually do the math, okay? So that's the first thing for you. And I'm gonna show you the math, okay? But one of the first things is, right, you need a goal, okay? One of the second things is, you need to actually do the math because the math is different for every person, every area, every lead type, et cetera. But I'm gonna show, I'm gonna talk through our leads here at Secure Agent Leads, where we drive, you know, automated appointments and inbound calls and all this other stuff, right? I'm gonna talk through the math of what we do here and what I would do if I, was, if I was in your shoes and what I've done in the past when I've had several $10,000 weeks. Okay, you still with me, you ready? Let's do it, okay? So, let's do the math. So if you wanna think through 10K, all right? So the, so the goal is $10,000, okay? If you divide that by an average premium of about 780, per year, about 65 bucks, okay? I know agents sell lower, I know agents sell higher, I would say that's a general average, about seven to 800, somewhere in there, okay? I personally was typically higher, that's just because I built value, I showed three options, highest to lowest, et cetera, right? Okay, so when you divide that out, you're close to about 13 sales. So at 13 sales every single week, so that's what you gotta do, every single week, you have to write 13 sales. Okay, you can do that for 50 weeks. 50 weeks, 13 sales, and guess what? You just made half a million bucks, okay? So 13 sales. Now let's just say, typically, let's just say you're at a 50% close rate. So you would actually divide that to come up with a bigger number, okay? 50% close rate, which means if you sit with two people, you'll close one. If you sit with 10, you'll close five. Now, what we're not accounting for that also happens is if you're if, if if you sit with ten people and you sell five, and let's just say that one of the five was actually a couples, so it was a double sell, then your app count ends up being six. Okay, we're not taking in that in that that into account, but that is part of it. Okay, so let's go back to divided by fifty percent close rate. Then you need twenty six sits, which means you need to sit down. I, I teach a system called set sit and sell, okay? I believe every insurance agent needs to set with at least 15, set 15, sit with 10, and sell five. That's my triple S weekly system because 92% of insurance agents fail, okay? So 26 sits, that means you're gonna sit down, it's a lot, lot more than that, but then we're looking at a big, much bigger number, right? That This is for about five, two grand a week, okay? 26 sits. So if you need to sit down and ask 26 people to buy every single week. Now let's just say that if you divide it, but, but divided by a 60% uh, sit rate, okay, which means if you set 10 appointments, about six would actually show up, okay? Some would uh, port you or stand you up, right, or forget, et cetera, okay? So you know it's divided by 60%, okay? Now what happens there is when you divide it by 60%, that takes you to 43% set appointments per week. So anything north of 40 is probably gonna make this worth work because 60% is very conservative. I was just talking to an agent that does 400 grand a year. I'm coaching him right now, okay? That's what we do. He, he, he purchased, I think, six coaching sessions for like 3,600 bucks. Um, that was an older, that was the older math, that was older, okay? And what we talked about with him is He's at a six, and we looked at his numbers. He's at a 60%, I'm training his, him and his appointment setter. He's currently at a 60% sit rate. When his appointment setter, because typically with an appointment setter, the numbers go down a little, okay? When they set 10 appointments, six show up, okay? 60% sit rate. You need to set, that appointment setter, or you, needs to set, and to do $10,000 a week, like you need someone else setting your appointments. Um, I'm not saying you can't, but when you gotta run, you gotta set 43 appointments and actually go hoping to sit down with 43 people. Like that's a lot, okay, to keep up with. So you need to set around 43 appointments a week to do that. Now, let's just say that when you get, 
let's just say that you have a, um, let's just say you get some good solid leads and you actually have a 50% set rate, okay? Especially if you're working our leads, okay, which are exclusive, they come in real time, they're fast, we drive inbound calls to you, we actually set up automated processes to get you an automated appointment set. There's some different things we're doing, it's freaking crazy, okay? And then when I call in, 833-40-AGENT, all right? So with a 50% set rate, with a 50% set rate, that means that if you got, that means you would need 86 leads per week, okay? Now let's just say that those leads are about $20 each, okay? In that example, we're at about $1,720, okay, per week in real money. However, you're trying to make 10. So some would say, yeah, 1,700 bucks a week is a lot. Dude, I will give you $1,700 every week if you'll give me $10,000 back. Dylan, would you do that math? Would you take that? Dude, right, well, right not, right? Okay, so now, you gotta decide if you need an appointment setter. Because if you need an appointment setter, and let's just say that you pay um, 20 bucks per appointment that they set, and they set 43, then now you gotta do that math, okay? And take that times 43 sets, okay? Which is $860. So then, not only are you at 1720, but you've also got to add in $860 per week to pay the appointment center, right? I don't know how else to break this down any easier, but these are real numbers or legit, and you can, in fact, make $10,000, okay? So let's look at this. This is, what, what, what's this, 2,680 bucks, okay? 2,680 bucks. 2,680 real dollars, okay? 1,800, 860 plus 20, perfect, okay? Every single week. Now, this is to where, because agents that are writing $10,000 weekly, what's happening is they're walking into a system that produces certain results. Because a system is duplicatable, a system is replicatable, and a system is something that you can do often and continually every single week for an entire year, okay? Now, what's your goal, okay? Maybe it's 10K, maybe it's not. You gotta do the math. I've shared with you exactly how to do the math. Would you give someone $2,680 if they were gonna give you $2,000 back, $10,000 back, right? Do the math. You're spending about, about 130 grand and someone's giving you back $500,000. Now, would you do that math? Now, the main reason why an insurance agent would never be able to pull this off is because the one thing that will hold them back is actually investing in their business. Most insurance agents do not invest enough, which is why 92% of insurance agents fell within their first three years. It sucks, it's awful, it's true. But most don't invest enough in your business. So if you will set a goal, do the math, have a system, okay? And then actually invest in your business, no matter what the goal is, it can happen. Okay, so what I would say is, if you want, if you needed four steps to make this a reality, then this is how I've done it, how I would do it if I was you, and how you can earn $10,000 weekly as a life insurance agent. Hey, if you love this video, which obviously you did, I got two right here that you're gonna wanna check out, okay? The first one's three simple steps to close an insurance sale. The second one that you may wanna click on is how to make 100K selling property and casualty insurance. Click on one of those and I'll see you there.